You picked up your supply box from school, and now you're ready to get organized for learning. Let me show you everything inside. You got an envelope with an iPad and a really important paper in it. That important paper is going to show you how to get your iPad started so you can use it. You got your supply bin. If you watch your supply bin video, you'll turn your supply bin into one full of all the things you need. Have a grown-up write your name on it really neatly so you can copy it if you need. Be sure to have a capital first letter. You'll also find a bunch of bags of papers. This one is a bag full of papers we're going to use in the first few weeks of school. Please don't do anything with them until we tell you what to do. These two bags are papers that we'll use for writing and drawing. These ones are all blank and these ones are all lined. We can set all three of those aside in a safe place. That safe place could even be that cardboard box you got. This bag has all your colorful papers. These are the ones that are going in your binder. Let me show you how. You have all your sheet protectors and all your papers. The papers are going to go in the sheet protectors. I use my fingers to open them up and then slide them right inside. Because the pages are printed two-sided, you'll only put one piece of paper inside each sheet protector. Keep going until all your papers are in the sheet protectors. This last page is white. This one's actually not going in our binder. I'm going to open it up, take out just one sheet protector, and leave all the rest in the back here. This one's still going to go in a sheet protector. But instead of going in my binder, I want it in that blue writing folder. This can be a little tricky. I'm going to use the prongs. This way, my snap words will always be with me when I'm writing. Now that I've closed this and it's all ready, I want to use my dividers to make it easy to find the different color sections. So I'm going to take them out and put them between where the colors change. Now my binder is ready. I can also keep all of these pages right here so that I have them when I need them. I can flip to the back and store my other paper there as well. Those two are ready. Let's look at what else we have. In the bottom, you have a whole bunch of workbooks. 
This one we'll be using when we do some phonics work. These are magazines we will read for science and social studies. Here's our social studies journal, our science journal, our math workbook, your art workbook, and a journal you'll use when you have extra time. One thing you don't have just yet is your handwriting book. That one's coming soon. Have fun setting up your things.